Is there a, a story then? Maybe no, 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 a real story. Uh, it's not a concept record or anything like that. No, it's not like that. I mean, I, maybe there's a, some sort of theme running through. Hmm. I think if there's any sort of theme, it's kind of like waking up and realizing you're an adult and you're actually dealing with adult issues and, you know, I can't take, like, I don't think I trust you anymore. I mean, if these people would have just been, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend when we were in our 20s and they broke up, whatever, but they have children. and. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like almost like a come like a lot of the lyrics have to do with I suppose, if pressed to think about them, um, have to kind of do with almost sort of coming of age like becoming an adult and dealing with those kind of real issues. It's not very rock and roll, I know. <laughs> well, it's got guitars and drums. So it's good. The music's <laughs> rock and roll. I mean, and, and that's where I feel like I'm stronger is melodies and rhythms mm -hmm. and stuff. I, I lyrics are hard for me. Mm -hmm. They're really hard for me, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I don't I don't really enjoy that process. I, it's a means to an end. Yeah. You know, it's something that has to be done so the song will be done. And maybe next time I'll collaborate with some other lyricists, you know. But you know. Did you collaborate with anyone on this album? Musically, but not lyrically. Oh, okay. No, lyrically, I did it all myself. Did it take you a while then? Because you know, you got this great piece of music, you know, and then or at least what you think is great, anyways. And then you have this empty page with a pen, and you're just like, Fuck. <laughs> "What am I gonna do?" And then something happens, and you know, you piece it together, and something happens, and you have a song. Hmm. And you go back and rewrite every once in a while. And yeah. Change a word here or there that seems clunky, you know. And, and you got yourself a song. <laughs> some, some would say. Uh, obviously, there's festival season coming up. Yeah. That's the big thing in the UK. Yeah. Um, I, you're doing a few, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing a bunch of European festivals. Yeah. We're doing wireless here. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing, uh, we're just doing a bunch of stuff. I think you said Hyde Park as well, I think you did. That's wireless. That's wireless. the wireless. And there's another one, isn't there? I thought you were doing two. Anyway. Uh, download. I think we're doing download as yeah. well. The download fest. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I think them crooked vultures are there as well. So. Yeah, they'll be on like you know, late at night on the main stage. We'll be on like. Blues uh, tent. We'll be at the blue tent at eleven. <laughs> no, get one ticket to the blue tent and you get a free hot dog. <laughs> that's fine. That's where we belong. You know, I don't mind yeah. that. I don't mind. I've, no, there's no ego involved with that yeah. sort of thing. I mean. This band is a means to an end to get out and play music with yeah. my friends. Do you think you're going to be doing a tour as well? Uh, us? Yeah. I mean, this is we're doing it in the festivals and yeah. stuff. And we did a little, a couple of weeks in America mm -hmm. already. Yeah. And so yeah, I mean, we're kind of doing it now, you know. Cool, because um, you're only doing one show in the UK, though. I mean, as just you know, as of now, as a, as a, as, as just the as band. A band, yeah. I wish we, I, I know, that's not true, we're actually playing in uh, Manchester. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, or Birmingham or Manchester. One of the two. North. North. <laughs> and then we're doing the wireless show, and then we're doing downloads, so, I mean, really, if you think about it, it'll be in the end, at the end, it'll be like four or five UK shows. So, yeah. And in Ireland, mm. we're doing Dublin as well. Mm -hmm. That's another UK show, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's UK. Yeah, it's UK. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I think pretty much we're going to cover it pretty good, actually. Cool. So you're going to have a busy summer. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you think you're going to start writing new material for this band then afterwards? And yeah, I mean, I, I'll always weeks? write, you know, yeah. I'll always write and I'll always come up with a song every couple of months or every three months or whatever. Mm. Um, sometimes one a year, depends. Mm. But everything I write if it actually does become something that's going to come out on a record, it'll be with this band. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the vehicle for my song ideas, just as the Foo Fighters is the vehicle for Dave's song ideas. Mm -hmm. You know? Cool. So how do you start? Do you start on the drums or do you start on guitar? With the coattail writers? No, I start more usually with a guitar mm -hmm. or piano. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Wow. cool. Yeah. Not great. <laughs> but don't get the idea that I'm... I'm not, no, it's not like that, but... but <laughs> Well, there's no not much piano on this one. No, really. There's a little bit of keyboards. And yeah. I played a little bit of piano, a little bit of Fender Rhodes. 
Mm. But no, not really. There was gonna be more keyboards, but it's funny thing about keyboards is like, I start you start putting keyboards on top of stuff and things start sounding really fake. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. Keyboards are big at the moment in the UK. Oh, I know they are. <laughs> and that's fine, and they yeah. sound good on stuff, but not for not anything for you listening to at the moment, like music. What do you do? You have time to even listen to new music. I, I, I guess I have time, but I don't like most of it. Mm. I don't like the way music is made for the most part now, on mm -hmm. computers and mm. auto-tuned vocals and, you know, perfect gridded drums and stuff. I don't, I, so, my requirements to listen to new rock and roll, and we're talking about rock and roll pretty mm -hmm. much, are, you know, make it a pretty slim area of rock music that I actually do like. There's a couple things here and there. Um, what did we hear yesterday? Awful name for a band, but the song was kind of cool. Pleasure Pit. Have you heard them? Pleasure Pit? Yeah, the Pleasure Pit. Passion Pit, maybe? Passion Pit. Passion Pit, yeah. Yeah, that's a band. The yeah. worst fucking name of <laughs> all time. That's like, whoa, I don't know, what is that? There's a bunch of really weird names going on. Like but I, I, I liked that song. I heard their song. It was yeah. cool. It was kind of reminded me of MGMT a little bit. Yeah. They kind of seem like they're from that school a little bit. Yeah. I haven't listened to the new MGMT record, but I heard it's a tough listen. It is. I heard it's a tough listen. It's I, said, I heard it once. I didn't like it. Everyone tells me it's a grower, but... That's what I heard too. That's what everybody from our record company said. It's a grower that eventually... Yeah. I think they're trying. I don't, I don't know if they're trying, but it sounds like it's trying too hard to be something different. Right. So, Could be. So it can go either way. Well, you know, what I heard is that they wrote all those first, that first album like eight years ago. When they were in, high, or in college yeah. and high school. And I think that, you know, it was like, okay, we need another record. Like, what? So I think part of the reason they may have gone in the direction they did, which I guess is like really psychedelic and long songs and not mm. not like singles, right? Mm. And I think that that's a safe bet. You know, it's easy to say, well, we didn't try and write a hit song. You know yeah. what I mean? We didn't yeah. write. There's no hits on your record. Well, we didn't try to. Yeah. You know? <laughs> So did you put anything, any old material on your new album, or is it just Actually, actually, yeah, there's the song, there's a song called Sunshine, mm -hmm. track six or seven, um, or five, I don't remember, um, and, and that's, that's from like 1998. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I wrote that a long time ago. Cool. And there's a slow version that I did back then, and then there was a faster version, like the one we did on the record. And, I had a demo of that and I had forgotten about that when we were recording this record and I found this old demo of it on cassette, maybe even. I had to find a cassette player to hear it. And then I listened to it and I was like, hey, that's, that's a cool tune, let's, okay. let's do it. Cool. And everybody says it sounds like the Queens of the Stone Age. I'm like, well, I, I wrote it before. <laughs> yeah, Queens of Stone Age, so. Uh, before I was even, even heard Queens of the Stone yeah. Age. And I love Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sure that Josh's influence is there from yeah. on me. You know, I, I think he's a brilliant musician, mm. absolutely one of the best of our time. Mm. So, but that, but people always say that's such a Queens of the Stone Age riff, and I'm like, that's fine because I like Queens, and yeah. I'm sure I've ripped him off somewhere. But that's yeah. not a Queens of the Stone Age. I wrote it before I even heard fucking Queens mm. of the Stone Age. So, you know, so. that's cool though. Well, you can have influences you don't even know you have.